What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, we have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Tension in Oyo State as youth attack the Fulanis again and burn down their cow market. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on the red subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. Some youth in Iganga, Ibarapa, North, local government area for your state on Friday set ablaze a cow market in Iganga area. It was gathered that there was an agreement by the dwellers in the area that the market should be shut down due to insecurity in the Ibarapa axis of the state. Daily Trust Saturday had earlier gathered that the cow market in the Igbo, Igbo, Igbo era Idare axis had been shut down owing to suspicion that some suspected kidnappers could mingle freely with the headers. According to the source who spoke on condition of anonymity, the youth went to the settlement of Serikin Fulani of Oyo State, Alaji Salu Abdukadir, after setting the market on fire. The source noted that the youth warned Alaji Salu Abdukadir and his children to ensure that the issue of insecurity becomes a thing of the past in the area. Alaji Salu Abdukadir told Daily Trust Saturday that some of his children were attacked by the youth, led by a popular thug in the state. He said those injured are receiving treatment at the hospital. The state police public relations officer, Olugbenga Fadeye, didn't pick his call when contacted and the message sent to him was not replied at the time of filing this report. All right, guys, Oyo is boiling seriously, and not just only um, Oyo, but the entire Southwest as youth have risen up to attack the Fulani. You know, there have been a lot of insecurity in the Southwest, and particularly Oyo State have uh, been in the lime, limelight for some time now. Amoteko have been engaged with with uh, kidnappers, these Fulani kidnappers in Oyo State, and in fact, it is that same... That same or your state that 46 uh, Mietiala members were were caught with AK-47 rifle. They were caught by the by the military, by the army, and delivered to the police. And you know what Mietiala said? Mietiala came out, defended those guys, that those guys were their members and they are vigilantes. That's what Mietiala said. Now the question in the lips of people, when did... Mietiala, who gave them the right to form a vigilante in another man's land. You get that if at all they should, they have the police are there. And Amote Kunye, you see, is duly set up by the state to fight insecurity. So, but these guys were caught and there have been a lot of protests already by people that um, if this thing is not looked into, if the state government will treat this thing with levity that the police will release those 46 uh, people that were arrested with rifles. So there have been a lot of uh, tension of late in you know, your state and this time around the youth are not folding their arms. The youth have also joined the bandwagon to also fight against insecurity by attacking certain interests that they think could contribute to insecurity. Like for instance, they burn down a, you know, a cow market you get in Ibarapa, not local government of your state. That happened yesterday. They burned down the market, and then why they are doing it, they say they don't know who is who. They don't know whether mingling among those headsmen could be kidnappers, and so they had to shut it down. And what they are trying to do, they are trying to let the Fulanis know that go back to your down go back to your state that's that's the message they are sending to them because this cow market is reportedly owned by the fulanese so they are sending a message to them that we don't need you any longer go back to your state you get so and uh, you also saw it is this in the same or your again that a a lorry was burnt down that actually um contained a uh, cow a lorry full, fully loaded with cow was burnt down in Oyo State because the lorry killed a young a young boy. 
the lorry knocks down the guy so out of um anger they had to burn down the lorry and you know before this time out i mean um the youth what actually happened is accumulation of anger over certain period of time because you will not just see youths just attack certain interests of some uh, group without them having nurtured or accumulated anger over that group and in this case the fulani headsmen the fulani headsmen have carried out a lot of like for instance as i speak to you now in the same way again i'll be doing this news so just stay put watch out they have killed four farmers four farmers in the rural area of your state and that is what that that was when idago there's one notorious amoteko man the man is a um i think i don't know how to actually describe him but he is he is a warrior he's a fighter after he actually visited the fulani a uh, settlement they attacked those two people and so tension is gradually building up tension is gradually building up so guys that is what has just happened today and we don't know how this is going to uh lead to you know why you see youth rising up you know is that these fulani people have encroached into the southwest seriously these guys have so much encroached and they are armed they are armed not just with um dane guns but they are armed with assault rifle like like ak-47 so these guys are armed they have been kidnapping people with the money they they, they get from kidnapping they used to buy more weapons and their goal and their target is they want to forcefully they want to force the states the governments of the southern region to reach an agreement with them and give them a land you know ruga project have failed both ruga cattle a colony all of them they all failed you get because the southern part of the country rejected it now the truth of the matter is why not they go back to the north why don't they go to them because the northern governor said they will accept them so why didn't they go to the north they, you see so this thing there is a suspicion because the northern governor says in fact 12 northern governor says they will accept the ruga project but the next thing we saw was the federal government shut down the project so that means the their target was the south the target was the south now that the ruga project have been shut down the cattle colony also shut down they are now coming up with another technique and that is to attack the southern region make blood flow and then that will actually make them make the government of the day either the governor to reach an agreement with them and give them what they want so that's your target so what do you guys think i want you to drop your comment below let me know what you think this is emma tv god bless you